There are many stars in the night sky. They help us imagine a time when suffering and sickness retreat, a time when science and medicine take the lead, a time when a guiding light illuminates cancer research, providing hope, faith, and healing. The John Wayne Cancer Institute Surgical Oncology Fellowship Program at St. John's Health Center is a powerful beacon providing specialty training and knowledge to doctors who spread light and hope throughout the world. They share their skills fighting cancer, developed under Dr. Donald Morton at the John Wayne Cancer Institute, and light the way for a hopeful future in treating and conquering the disease. Uh, our fellows are fully trained general surgeons. They've completed medical school, they've completed their general surgery residency, and rather than going into a private practice career, they've decided to take on additional specialty training in surgical oncology. This is a relatively recent development in medicine, uh, but it's one that was pioneered uh, by Dr. Morton. He founded the John Wayne Cancer Institute's Surgical Oncology Fellowship before such a program existed in uh, virtually any place around the country. The Institute's progress in research has not only continued, but has accelerated in recent years. Our fellows have played a vital role in this research. They've been instrumental in many of the studies that have been completed here, and they carry the experience of that research with them after graduation. It's astonishing when you look at the list of chairmen, deans, leaders, people that are associated with the National Cancer Institute that all began at the, at the John Wayne Cancer Institute. The uh, training program is rigorous. It's our responsibility to put out the absolute best graduates that we can. When the heads of various departments or people in the community contact the John Wayne and tell us that they're so grateful for having a graduate in their community, then you realize that everything that we're doing is worth it, that we truly are training the best and the brightest, that people's lives are being saved. I have a real passion for cancer research. My mother, unfortunately, um, had cancer when she was very young, when she was in her 40s and she survived. My father also is a, had cancer early in his life and he actually succumbed to the disease. Finding the cure to cancer was very personal to me. I wanted to train here because there are world-class physicians and researchers and I wanted to learn from the best. All my family members are in medicine um, actually and led me to want to do something that involves cancer treatment and what I saw in neurosurgery was an opportunity to do very high-tech and highly skilled surgery as, as well as research and be able to coordinate both together. Hi, my name is Julie Villar. Uh, prior to coming here, I was in Phoenix at the Mayo Clinic where I did my residency. And it was the cancer patients actually that I felt like I wanted to be around to help the most. And in particular, I am interested in women's health and I came to interview here. Uh, the person who interviewed me said, I don't care where you end up, if you end up in the community or if you end up in an academic institution, I want you to be a leader, a leader in every sense. And I cannot thank the John Wayne Cancer Institute Auxiliary enough. Their generous support has made my coming and being a part of this fellowship possible. I feel compelled to help people decide how they want to deal with their cancer and deal with their disease. If I can offer some help to them in that way, then I've accomplished my goal. Through the fellowship training program, we're, we're putting out surgeons who are at the top of their game today who will take what they know now and use their own imagination and their own ingenuity and their own ideas to, to raise the bar on how cancer is uh, researched and treated. It's inspiring to think that that comes from a man's spirit, from John Wayne's spirit, from Don Morton's spirit, and it's passed on. And so each one of those fellows that ends up going somewhere in the world, they take that spirit with them and they inspire people in those areas with that spirit. Thank you for your support of the John Wayne Cancer Institute and for my training. Thank you to everyone here tonight for supporting the John Wayne Cancer Institute. From the bottom of my heart, Thank you, and from all my co-fellows, I know we can't thank you enough for all the support that you've shown. Thank you to everyone here tonight for supporting the John Wayne Cancer Institute and Cancer Research. Thank you very much 
for supporting our fellowship program. I want to thank everybody here tonight for coming and we really appreciate all the support that you've given to the John Wayne Cancer Institute. Just the fact that you're here and at the Odyssey Ball means that you care about the fight against cancer and I think that that's tremendous. An important part of Dr. Morton's legacy is the John Wayne Cancer Institute's Surgical Oncology Fellowship Program. Dr. Morton knew long ago how vital it was to provide opportunity as well as share knowledge and discovery with physicians around the world. The fellowship program was designed to light the way for the future of cancer care, to train the next generation of cancer specialists and provide meaningful hope to cancer patients and their families. This is Patrick Wayne. On behalf of the Wayne family, I thank you for attending this year's Odyssey Ball and for supporting the John Wayne Cancer Institute.